Hi everyone, it's board certified plastic surgeon Sean Darby from Boston. What is the ozempic phase? Well, it's volume loss in the face. A lot of my patients report really great changes to their body and their lifestyle by way of medicines like ozempic. It's created sustainable and healthy weight loss, so I applaud them for that. But some of these patients are now bothered by volume loss to the face. That also happens with age as well. So what are ways that we can address that? Well, there are the non-surgical and surgical ways. The volume loss can be improved upon by putting fat back in the face. That's fat grafting from part of the body and injecting it back into the face. That's a surgical procedure done in the operating room. Another way of restoring volume to the face is by way of injectables. Sculpture is a series of treatments of a biostimulant can help with mid-face volume loss. And then fillers like Juvederm or Restlane can help increase volume to the cheeks, the nasal labial fold, and the lips. And then laxity of skin is also bothersome to patients who've lost some weight. A non-invasive way of treating that would be a thread procedure. Some procedures that include microneedle and radio frequency can improve the skin and give a little bit of a tightening to the skin, not a surgical tightening. And then lastly is ultimately surgery. So a neck and a facelift helps restore a better shape to the face that has changed after weight loss. So, the Ozempic face has lots of treatments. I suggest you see either a board certified plastic surgeon or a knowledgeable healthcare practitioner who's involved in aesthetics for good opinions and good assessment. Thanks.